Hey guys, in this video we are going to install a chassis wrap on this Arma Infraction uh, slash Limitless chassis. So stay tuned and let's roll the intro. Okay, so the first thing you want to do uh, when you order your chassis skin for your Arma is take a look at the chassis skin here and scan this code. And if you're watching this video, you probably already have scanned this code, but this code will take you to uh, the instructions and the video. There is a little diagram here that shows you the different tools you're gonna need. And there's some extras as you can see uh, on the sheet here. These band-aids come in handy if you have a really bad bash session and you need just to make a repair to protect your chassis. So let's get started. This is a tricky one. And that's why I made this video uh, in particular for the infraction and limitless crowd. You can see on this chassis that we've got a, a indentation here and here. And that's what makes this a little bit more of a tricky install, okay? Now, I've already take some, taken some steps uh, uh, to prep this chassis before I made the video, so I want to go over them now. I cleaned the chassis down with uh, isopropyl alcohol, as you can see. And then what I did was, I used a 3M Primer 94 pen, and that is outlined on your instructions here. I'm going to put a link to that uh, below the video, and I'm also going to put a picture of it right up here. And uh, you can get that from Amazon. It's really cheap. I think it's like $2.50 for a single pen. But what it is, is it's a liquid, and you rub it on wherever you're going to apply your sticker, and it, it, it just makes the bond about 80% stronger. And you really need that in these grooves here because when we install this graphic, I'll illust illustrate it with this squeegee, we're going to install it and bridge this, this dip right here. And so what happens is when we heat the graphic and we want to push it down into here, uh, you need an extra bond in here so it doesn't, the graphic doesn't pop back up on you, okay? This is probably one of the only chassis I've come across so far that really would benefit from this practice. I've already applied the 3M primer to this because I didn't want to stink up the studio in here. I have kids and they come in and out and uh, I just didn't want to deal with that. So I did that part outside off camera. But basically, once you use the, the alcohol here and you wipe your chassis down, you'll take your 3M primer pen and all you're going to do is you're just going to take, um, let's pretend that this is the pen, and you're just going to go around this area here, okay? just like this, get it all. You don't need to get up here, just in this dipped area and these slopes. And then you turn it around and you do the same thing here, okay, to about here. You can probably actually see if the lighting is just right, a slight discoloration uh, in here where I did my primer pen off-site, okay? So the method we're going to use here is called, well, I call it the hinge method. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the skin down and adhere it in this area, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to hinge it back and we're going to dry this area off and then do a dry apply down. I want to try and get this dry and not have any soapy water in here because I want it to make instant contact with that groove. So again, I've already prepped, and the first thing I want to do, my hands are clean, is pull the chassis skin off. Just like this. Okay. Put this to the side. And all we're going to do is just let it lay flat like this. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to spray it down with this soapy water mix. A soapy water mix is about six drops of dish detergent to about 32 ounces of uh, clean water. And I put about a teaspoon of this isopropyl alcohol inside as well. That helps it evaporate a little bit more quickly. Now that this is wet, I can come back and use my X-Acto knife and I can pluck all of the holes out for your screws. Keeping it wet like this allows you to touch the graphic and your hands won't stick and get messy. There's quite a few of them. Just take your time, and if one falls on like that, 
just pick it off. As long as it's wet, it won't, it won't be a problem. Now, if you tried to do this dry, that piece that just flopped over right there would have been an issue. It would have stuck and we would have had to try to pluck it off. And although it would have come off, uh, it would have left a little indentation uh, in the uh, adhesive. Okay, I think that's all of them. Yep, looks pretty good. So I'm gonna set these to the side like that. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna spray down my actual chassis. Okay. Now I can see that this long hole here is up here, so obviously I need to flip it around like this. And now you can slide it around and get it aligned. Now like I've noted in my other uh, chassis install videos, there is a back cut. Every hole is back cut about, oh, I'd say a sixteenth of an inch. And what that does is it allows you to sort of uh, wiggle it around and give you a little bit of play because these products can expand and contract during shipping. Okay? That looks pretty good. I mean, I'm going up here and I'm looking at this. That looks good. I'm going to ignore this dipped area here because I can't do anything about it because you can see it needs to go down. Okay? As long as we get the majority of the middle lined up, the left and the, uh, the left and the right side should align for us without a problem. Okay? We're gonna add some heat. And what I want to do, like we talked about, is get the middle axis down, just like this. And we're going to squeegee this way now, just like that. Okay. Now this isn't not this is not a permanent bond yet. That's a function of time, but it's going to be enough that it's going to hold it in place for us so it doesn't move. Okay. So now here comes the hinge method. What we're going to do is we're just going to pull this back a little bit like this. Okay. And we are going to take our clean rag and sort of just dry this off a little bit, like so. Okay. And we're going to take our heat gun. You can already see it evaporating off of uh, this uh, chassis, which is great. I still see the discoloration in here from my primer pen. That's good, too. Now I'm going to slowly move my way up here and evaporate uh, the moisture from the sticker. I don't want to add too much heat because I don't want to uh, deform it. So the trick is to hold it back far enough so that it just keeps the air moving. A little bit left here. I'm going to get there, you can see it's starting to shrink down a little bit because it's getting warm. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now what we're going to do is very carefully pick this back up like this. And we're just going to let it curl down like so, okay? Just like that. This is dry and this is dry. And what I want to do is I want to get these wings, these sides down first and intact instantly, which is why we dried it. If we did a wet apply here, it wouldn't be bonded for about a day, okay? Now, when you, anytime you do a dry apply, you're going to be a lot more susceptible to air bubbles. So you need to pay attention to that, okay? These sides are now down and down down really well. So I would say it's about a 75% bond right there. So what I'm going to do is come back now that these are down and I'm going to heat up this middle channel and push it down. Okay. Here we go. I'm working my way down the sides first. Just like that. Just like that. A little bit more heat. Okay, 
Now I'm going to take my rag and I'm just going to work my rag towards the holes which will help the air get out. It needs a pathway out. Just like that. Now, you're probably going to have some air bubbles left. So we're going to need to pop them. Whenever you do a dry install, it's almost impossible to get these things down without an air bubble or two. So I'm just going to use my finger. I can see one right here and I'm going to push it and just pop it and lift it up with my knife a little bit and away it goes. There's one more right here. I'm just going to get in there with my knife and pop it and push and just keep going up this channel. Same thing here. Then I'm going to come back with the heat. And that little tiny hole I made with the knife, I'm going to heat it up. I'm going to use my rag in this case. And then just while it's warm, use your finger and go over it and it'll heal and close that hole up for you. Okay? Let's flip it around here. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Now this is going to be a little bit harder to lift up because it's been sitting even though it was wet. Now see, that's all the further I can pull that up because this was starting to bond down the middle axis that we did first. Again, I'm going to take my rag, help it a little bit dry here. And I'm going to heat it up. I can see the water evaporating out. One of the things you should notice about uh, this product is even when it's warm, it's still holding its shape here. And that should show you uh, how thick these chassis skins actually are. They are about the thickness of a credit card. Okay, same process. We're just going to use our squeegee and we're going to go down in a nice curled fashion like this, which helps get the air out. Just like that. Okay, and now we are to this front part. I'm just gonna use my finger and just gently push that down so that holds as well. Now when I push this in, it can't pull this in and pull these in, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit more heat. Okay. Now I'm just gonna work my way down and down. Looks like I need a little bit more heat in here. Absolutely. If you find that it doesn't want to sit down for you, just keep adding a little bit more heat. Uh, you'll know when it starts to get a little bit too hot because it'll start to deform when you push on it, okay? I still had a little bit of water left in there. I probably could have done a little bit better job of drying that, but for the video purposes, I was in a hurry. So that's gonna hold me up here just a little bit. You guys have all the time in the world, I'm sure, so you know to get these installed and uh, you're not uh, worried about boring someone like I am here, I try to keep it moving. So take your time. I'm gonna go to my rag now and really try to get in here and work my way around. Like so. One of the nice things about the rag is as you push on this groove and the water comes, if there's any residual water in here and it comes squirting out of these holes here, the rag immediately soaks it up. And that's beneficial because then it doesn't soak its way back in underneath the graphic. Just gonna keep it warm so that I can keep working with it. Just like this. Keep it warm. You can see a little spot right here. And 
I'm just going to work my way up just like this, soaking the water up that's left. A little bit more water in this middle section from where we did the hinge method. And I'm gonna do an inspection here and see where I'm at. I can see I got a couple little pieces I need to work on here. Okay. This rag is also nice because if you, if you drag your finger across, your skin has more friction. And when this stuff is warm, you can kind of smudge it. Like it'll, I don't want to say smudge, but I guess the word is sort of deform it because of that friction. But with the rag, it allows it to sort of glide across. And even when it's warm and soft, uh, it won't deform it. I can still see some water coming out here, which is a good thing. But it's, it's getting down now. That looks really good. Really happy with this. And now that, that 3M primer that we used has really grabbed down in here. I got a little air bubble here I want to try and get out, so I'm just going to give it a little lift right here, and there it is. Came out. Perfect. Okay. That looks really good. I'm just going to take a final glance at this here. Looks like I have a little spot right here I need to work on. And maybe right here, or is that just the shape? I think that's just the shape of the chassis. So I'm going to spin it around, and I'm just going to warm this up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take my knife. I'm just going to get down at an angle here so I can see what's doing. I'm going to get underneath here and get that water out, just like that. There it comes out, good. Up in here in the middle, it's not as bonded as it is here, so you have to be careful when you push, because we did the wet apply hinge method more in here. The areas that were dry applied, you notice that's where I'm working the most to get the bubbles out. That's why I like you guys to, to do the soapy, uh, the soapy water uh, install method more because it really prevents, uh, it, it, I mean, it just, it's such, such a better way to get these things installed um, without any water or air pockets. But uh, this looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna go over this one more time. See a little something here. Got that out. The trick is to get these out now before it really starts to bond. Because what happens is, where that little bubble is, you'll get a ring that starts to form around where it's kind of convexed up. And if, if uh, you let it sit for a day or two, that where that, where that edge of that convex up was, that ring will, it'll stay there even after you pop the bubble. You'll see sort of a deform right there. Heating this up one last time, and I'm sealing up those, those small bubbles that I talked about, going back over it with my rag. That looks really good. I got one little pesky bubble right there. I'm going to take the back side of my knife and just sort of push it down. There we go. That's gone for the most part. This looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Uh, you can do this yourself. I just outlined the entire process. Uh, it's not too bad. The trick is just to get your hands on that uh, primer pen. You can try it without the primer pen, but you're sort of risking this popping up, especially if you're in a colder climate. So this is the Arma Infraction or Limitless Chassis with a USA themed ripper chassis skin made by Darkside Studios. I'll put the links below and thank you for watching.